the street down the side of uh, Studio uh, B here in the Crossroads Center, second largest te television production studio in Canada. You know, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. And we have it full now with all kinds of CTS productions. But uh, it was, we called that Huntley Street. We even had a street sign up that said Huntley yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and there was a number 100 there on that street yes. where the children would do all their things. Yep. And, and, and Bill, you know, you came to this thing in a kind of a roundabout way. You know, yeah, I, I was right. You were at Channel 9, you know, CFTO television. You, your, your first wife passed away. Mm -hmm. Cancer? Ah, uh, yes, lung cancer. And, uh, and you didn't know, you didn't know Jesus then. No, no, we didn't. How'd you cope with that at that time? Uh, well, we, we how, didn't. How did, you, how did you and Donna come into that place of faith? I, I just take a couple okay. of minutes and talk about that, Bill. Okay. Um, well, our, our doc, uh, my first wife, Vivian, uh, doctors uh, said, uh, Mr. Bray, I'm sorry, what, your wife is going to die. And it was lung cancer. And it was a to complete. And uh, at that point, I was a total uh, atheist. And I just figured that man was the center of everything, that, you know, if you... You want to um, remove a mountain, you bring equipment and turn it into a park. There was nothing we couldn't do. And then suddenly, you know, death was, uh, was facing us uh, in the eyes. And Mr. Bray, your wife's going to die. And, and I realized, good heavens, with all their expertise, they have no answer for, for life. How and, old was she? Uh, Vivian was uh, 29. Oh. 29. And uh, anyways, the, uh, we really started to ask big questions. We went very embarrassedly. We went to church because, you know, if, 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 if you need God, you go to church, right? And so we, we went to church. And the first experience, uh, I just knew in my heart uh, that, 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 that it wasn't there. We literally ended up on the wrong side of the tracks in a little town in northern, in northern Ontario. Uh, this little church uh, with uh, the, the pastor, he could not, David, he could not preach his way out of a wet paper bag. However, he presented the gospel every single day. He brought in his family. We had several girls and, and he had, uh, he brought in the people from the old age home and they sat in, in the back and uh, that was it. And, 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 and uh, Vivian and myself, and uh, we heard the gospel and, and, and eventually it, it, it sunk in and uh, I accepted Christ uh, a, a couple of weeks after Vivian died. Vivian had a deathbed repentance uh, in Princess Margaret Hospital and uh, uh, I knew w w when she died uh, that, that she was with the Lord. That was like that, a blessed assurance. That's a blessed assurance when you know that your loved ones have repented They've come to Christ. What does the word repent mean? Repent means uh, to change your mind, to, to, to change the way you are doing things and acting and performing and walk towards God and His ways. You might trip, you might stumble, you might make mistakes, and, and, and there's, a, there's opportunity there to ask for forgiveness in, in that process, and He'll say that He'll, he'll, he'll forgive us if, if we confess our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, all mistakes. And uh, repentance is a, it can be a, it's an ongoing process, even, even in the life of a believer. But, but the initial re repentance I talk about is, is, uh, is basically, God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need your forgiveness. And I ask that you make Christ the Lord of my life. That's the essence of turning your life around. And suddenly, he, he, Lord is, is, ta is the Lord by its very name means He's the boss, mm. so you're under new management, new lordship. Not you being the lord of your life, but the Christ Jesus being lord of your life. And uh, that could happen now. I mean, mm. it's a decision you make. Yes. Uh, you, you, we need to come to the place where we simply decide, God, I'm going to go your way mm -hmm. instead of just my own way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn and go your way. And, and then it's kind of like we got to keep on turn, making sure that we're not off a few degrees. If a railroad track kind of veered off a few, one track from the, I came down here from between Kingston and Ottawa, where I live now, to host Huntley Street this week, and I was on the railway. And, and I was thinking, if one of those tracks just veered off ever so slightly, maybe just a, a centimeter, and, and it kept on a centimeter every, every 10 feet or something, 
There'd be a train wreck very soon. We got to keep, keep back, back, back into line with what God wants for us. And, and people say, I can't believe. Yes, you can. That's a lie saying you can't believe. You can if you're willing, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes, it's not rocket science, as you, you've said in the past, uh, David. Uh, this is uh, simply humbling yourself and saying, God, I've made mistakes and I need you. Yeah. Now you're with the television crowd. They did some huge productions up there at CFTO Television for CTV, big, mm. big productions, big name stars, the whole thing. And, and one of the employees there was a girl named Donna. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, she didn't have a husband at the time. No. No, she'd had two previous husbands, though. But she was the femme fatale that kind of got your attention she, when you were a widower. Yes. She had great compassion for me. My, my wife had died, and, uh, and uh, I, I had one prayer. I said, Lord, send me somebody. At that time, my, my son was uh, about one and a half years old, two years, one and a half years old. I said, Lord, I, I started praying. Uh, and uh, I said, God, send me somebody to love my son and to love me. And it was always that order. And Donna gave her life to Christ along the yes. way as well. Yes, yes. And, and uh, she said to me, the age old question, she said, I don't get it. She says, your, your wife died. I mean, how, how can you say there's a God? I said, Donna, I, said, Donna, I, don't, I, I don't have all the answers, but I know that there's a God in heaven. And I know that, that Vivian is with the Lord. And our job now is to follow him 100%. Do we have that picture of Bill and Donna and the little, the little gal, one of their foster children they've adopted? If we have that picture, I'd like to just see that picture again. And here's a happy family somewhere. There they are. And, uh, and the older ones, and of course, uh, Donna's uh, you yes. know, daughter. Yes, we, we have uh, five grandchildren. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, yeah. Oh. And, uh, yeah, so it's a... Uh, it's been a wonderful process. You know, I, David, I would really, really like to say that, that uh, you know, I, I was 63 when we adopted T Tiana, uh, but it has been a joy, and, and the foster children that we've had have been a joy, and I would really like to encourage... Uh, Look, tell people in I would your, in I your like camera to, there. I, I would like to encourage uh, the viewers out there, no matter what age you are, Matter of fact, when, you, when you're older, you got, you've got more time, you, you, you have more knowledge, you, you've been through the, the, the mill raising your own kids, you have more savvy. I would really encourage you to uh, invest in a child's life at, at, at any level. Provide a safe, loving home for a child. Contact us, Children's Aid. It's a wonderful, yeah. wonderful experience. And you, you know, people say you can't unscramble eggs. Well, I can't, and you can't, but mm. God can do anything. Mm -hmm. And if your life, you're saying, hey, my life is kind of messed. Or even if you think, my life is going pretty good, you can still make your decision now for Christ. You need Jesus.